guys, it's Jessica from Crafting and Stampin' at Blogspot.com and today I wanted to show you, I'm going to put together two quick pages um, from the Close to My Heart uh, art booking um, Cricut cartridge and it's actually the Baby Mini, um, I think it says, I think it's called that, hold on, where is it? Yeah, the Baby Mini album. I'm going to be doing um, these first two pages, but I did change up, I didn't want my first which is up there it says my first I didn't want that I actually wanted little one so that's going to be the only exception of what I did so I just wanted to show you real quick um, I have it all cut out and I have it all linked up and whatnot and I'm actually just going to be putting it together I'm actually getting ready to go up and visit my nephew now so I'm trying to make this quickie quickie so um let's do this so the first um overlay was or you know what let's go in order so this is the first page we're going to do. I'm actually going to spray the back of my overlay with my spray adhesive because if you actually tried to uh, glue this, it would take you forever. So just uh, hold your breath and spray away. Ugh. It's the worst part. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It smells so bad. Uh, <laughs> so all you're going to do is place your overlay over your piece and in the Cricut, cattle, um, the Cricut cartridge manual it does tell you that we're going to cut it you're, all you're doing is setting your dial size to 8 and you're leaving it at 8 you're not even going back in and touching it um, nothing at all has to be touched it's that simple everything will cut to this 8 inches it's super great um, so yeah just so you know. Now this, I'm going to leave a spot so that they could put a little picture in. Um, I cut out the O Baby and I'm actually going to put this through my sticker machine just because I actually, you know what, I'm not. I'm going to just, I'm already smelling of the spray adhesive. I might as well just keep on going with it. <laughs> so let's just get my sheet back down. And just keep on spraying. Might as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have O Baby. And I'm just going to line it up right along the bottom. Um, I found this super cool site today. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not only going to line this up along the bottom, I'm going to have my Y touch the edge. There we go, perfectly spaced. Looks good. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, so I found this super cool site today thanks to my upline Mandy. Um, she helped me find this site that I don't have all the close to my heart colors yet, but I wanted to make it as close to close to my heart as I could. So I have all my old Stampin' Up! colors actually that I'm getting rid of. So I was able to coordinate it because I knew what Stampin' Up! colors I wanted to I mean what close to my heart colors I wanted to use because I like a lot of them. And this site actually shows you pretty much an exact comparison to what colors go with which so um, this I wanted this to be like the lagoon so as you can see it's actually winds up being the attempting turquoise from Stampin' Up so I just got rid of it and then the uh, what color is this topiary is actually close to uh, old olive or wild wasabi for Stampin' Up so I just got rid of it and that was the first page how cute is that so that's page number one. Now in between page number one and page number two, I wanted to have this cut, Bubsh, um, this cut out. And I could not figure out for the life of me what that was. So I'm like, no, I'm just going to cut it. We're going to see it. And I could tell by these holes that it was obviously is meant to fold over and go inside your album just because you could tell that they're punched holes, not just the normal score lines. So... I said, you know what, that must be a little envelope of some sort to go inside the mini. And that way you can hold, like, I don't know, um, maybe the little card from the hospital or little things that they get back for when my little nephew comes home. So I wanted to make this, and of course I jacked up the page and not the whole corner cut. But you know what, it doesn't matter because it gets folded in anyway and you're not even going to see it. So it's totally fine. It winds up working out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just put some red line tape so that it stays closed um, along here and 
No, we don't want one more piece. We just want it to go like that. So you're only going to do the two pieces along the side. So if, look at it as if it was cut. So it cut this way, right, on your mat. You put it in. It's just going to be these two sides just right here, okay? The opposite end of the scallops. Um, the scallops. So just get that going because it's obviously making a little envelope. So you don't want to obviously close all the sides, but you want them to at least have part closed. So there you go. Get a little envelope. And you would just line it up like so. And see, oops, can you even see that? You see how the holes line up in the back? But there's my little envelope. So that's page two. <coughs> Excuse me. And now let's get the next page done. And let's get this spray piece of back. I might as well just spray everything while I'm at it. Um, my little giraffe. How cute. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to spray that guy yet. Oh my goodness, this spray adhesive is a no joke. So, let's get this lined up. Oops. Oops. Thank goodness it gives you room to, uh, some wiggle room here. Okay. And I cut out little one which I thought was funny because a giraffe is usually pretty big but the giraffe is just so cute I couldn't not cut him and Lord knows my precious little nephew oh my gosh please don't stick ah. Whew, we almost had a casualty oh my goodness um, my <gasps> little nephew is certainly not a little guy God bless you Bubba he is Yes, he is. He was a big guy. And let's see. There we go. We got our giraffe all cut. You know what? I wonder if this didn't stick all the way down yet. I don't like the way that looks. No, I do not. Ouch. Let's see. Okay, good. This did not stick all the way yet. So that's perfect. Let's Okay, I actually want the little giraffe guy to go here. And then little one to go here. Oh, that's perfect. Isn't that so cute? I mean, like how it has baby there. <coughs> Excuse me. And now all you need to do is get yourself a set of jump rings. And you would just line them up. And you would put the jump rings through. And then you're getting yourself to be a little mini album. So this is um, part one. I guess we will say I only did the first two pages. So um, tomorrow when we come, when I get back to being able to do a video, we will do part two. So thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to check out my blog, www.craftandstampin.blogspot.com and to go online to order the art booking cartridge or any of the paper, um, check out my website, www.craftandstampin.ctmh.com. Uh, any order that is placed between now and October 14th will get the free mini catalog. Um, 
It is not due to come out until October 15th. It's the winter catalog. Uh, let me tell you how I am dying for my order to get here on Friday because this stuff is amazing. And you can't order from it until October 15th. So go ahead and place that order. I will get you the catalog for free. Uh, all I will need is your email address. And well, actually I won't need anything because if you place an order on my website, your information goes on there. So you, I will just email you to let you know that I did receive your order and expect your catalog. So thank you so much for watching. Take care and hope to catch a crafting and stampin'. Bye.